And we are underway. Morocco are hosts. Kicking from that left. For his uh, club side. Well, there is Rogerio Nicar, the uh, Brazilian. 12 on behind the pitch from Fissa. Feeds the ball to his right. Still coming forward as a first shot. Great save there from Belarus. Ahmed Atef. Defensive shape has been broken here, and there are men over on that far side. The first pass has been intercepted. The shot comes in from distance. What a strike! Egypt have taken the lead here. You can hear the deflation in the crowd. But what a strike that is! <laughs> Mahmoud Saber, the pyramids midfielder. Was at the bottom of that pyramid of players there. Wow, what a strike that was. What a goal. All the Moroccan players, the Moroccan fans as well, stunned. It all started with the counter attack, it was half put off there. Up against this Egyptian side. Salzuli tries to dance through, but he's as is a pocket picked by the goal scorer Saber. On the ball again now goes for the uh, long diagonal ball. And there's space over on this near side for Ibrahim Adel. He beat the ball in play. And crunching tackle coming in from El Azuzi. Like the one his, his foot rolls over the top of the ball. Not sure. He could give a red card, he could certainly give a free kick in a very dangerous area. It will be something. He stepped over the ball, perhaps, Saber. Could be in trouble here. And Mahmoud Saber, moments after scoring a CR check, is over. What are we going to have here? And Mahmoud Saber has been shown the red card. A reorganisation, I wonder. Great to see the... Uh... Try to release the run. He gets the ball back again. Zell Canoos teasing ball across, and there's the equaliser. Morocco back on level terms. And it's Yanis Begrawi, the third goal of the tournament for the Moroccan striker. And what a reception from the crowd here. Yanis Begrawi thanks his lucky stars. Look at the plate for him. That's been a great play here from Bilal El Canous. No offside. That an absolute nightmare for the defences and goalkeepers alike. The ball whizzed in between the two into the corridor of uncertainty. And the ball will fall to El Canous. It's Azuli again. Goes past one. And goes down wanting a free kick. Nothing given by the referee. Sabari as the shot at goal whistles past the upright. So they've struggled to create chances in this second half. It's Alzuli again. Not much movement coming from the number 60. Bell Caduce gets the ball into the air, and that's just gone under the foot of Ishmael Sabari. Well, at the end of the first half, he couldn't wrap his foot round a golden opportunity. What, three, four, five? Move now, the number 23 is Adele. Gets the ball to Fissal. Opportunity here from distance, just over the crossbar. Oh. Well, that might have well have been a winner had it gone in. Adele has gone down. This as well, by the way, coming on. The ball is cut back. What a stop by the goalkeeper. 
keeps Egypt in this final. Well, five minutes of added time. Five minutes for Morocco, perhaps to find the winner, and they nearly did there. Meluzani way in the second half. Zanzuli drifts the comes back in field. Elazuzi, ball to flex in the keeper here. Ewis thinks about driving it as man instead. He goes for the back post, and that's who goes past what? Goes past another Adele. Looks up, where's the support? Tries to pick out Fisa. Bumbled out of play by Fauzi. The shot comes in and deflects. Or deflects rather, bounces past. Oh, a nice turn in the area from Eunice, tracks the ball across, goal. Picks off at the near post, has a second stab at it. It's out into the area, to the byline, gets the cross across, but there's no one there. Then the shot comes in. And... Oh, the shot comes in, and it's not gone far wide in the end. It was a sliced effort from uh, Tugger. Tugger, I think uh, deliberately so. Zalzuli tries to inject some pace into things. This is bad for Mezalzuli. Driving run. Cut short just outside the area. This will be a dangerous position for a free kick to be defended here by each. No chance is being taken here. Defending the uh, free kick. Put to go round the outside of the wall as well. It's teed up on the edge of the area. And Morocco are in the lead. It's the substitute, Isama Tagali, from layoff. Incredible scenes here in Rabat. Egypt held firm for so long. But finally, a deflective strike. Nicely set up on the free kick, it has to be said, by uh, Azal Zuli. He'll get the assist for that to go with his three goals earlier in the tournament. And they have sent the crowd here. Here are back into raptures. Now what do Egypt do? Beautifully set up on the edge of the area. In fact, I don't think there was a deflection. Just hit it, loads straight through the goalkeeper. Well, Hamza will be livid with himself. This is the goal scorer. Turns the ball back inside. It's Eunice, dances past a couple of challenges, puts the ball across. Got space opens up for Esalzuli. Still Esalzuli. Into the area, Esalzuli, and then the shot. the area, nothing given. Now there's space through the middle. Eunice, sandwiched there. But Defensive shape has been broken here, and there are men over on that far side. The first pass has been intercepted. The shot comes in from distance. What a strike. Egypt have taken the lead here. You can hear the deflation in the crowd. Oh, what a strike that is. <laughs> Mahmoud Sabah, the pyramids midfielder. Was at the bottom of that pyramid of players there. Wow, what a strike that was. What a goal. Tried to release the runner. He gets the ball back again. Zell Canoose teasing ball across, and there's the equaliser. Morocco back on level terms. And it's Yanis Begadawi, a third goal of the tournament for the Moroccan striker. And what a reception from the crowd here. Yanis yeah, Begrawi. Thanks, his lucky stars. Look at the plate for that. It's a great play here from put to go around the outside of the wall as well. It's teed up on the edge of the area. And 
Morocco in the lead. It's the substitute, Isama Tagali, from layoff. Incredible scenes here in Rabat. Egypt held firm for so long. But finally, a deflected strike, nicely set up on the free kick, it has to be said, by uh, Azal Zuli. He'll get the assist for that to go with his three goals earlier in the tournament. And they have sent the crowd here in Rabat into Raptors.